Dr. Najib Khan. Nice to meet you. A warm welcome to our online class. How are you? Fine. Hope all are fine and safe at the home. You are the sixth standard student. Now, our first lesson is Medieval India, the centers of power. The last class we discussed about something about from the and uh, you know that you read your textbook. I already told you that you write, you read your textbook uh, for over five times. If you read it, you can understand very well. Otherwise, otherwise, no problem. Again, once more I will repeat it. Listen to me. Okay. The last class we discussed about the medieval India. For easy learning purpose, our India can be divided as three stages. First one is ancient India, second one medieval India, and third one modern India. Udhadana Karagata, Madhya Karagata, Madhuniga Karagata. Now we are going to explain about the medieval India. In which time, in which period medieval India started? In the last class I explained to you. And again, once more, listen to me. And the period of 8th century, in between 8th century and 18th century, is known as medieval India. Understood? In which period medieval India started? The period of in between 8th century and 18th century is known as medieval India. Okay? So, in that time, our, which is the capital of India? I think all of you know very well which is the capital of India, Delhi. Okay, so uh, in the medieval period, our capital country that is Delhi was more developed country. It has uh, so many geographical features. That's why it has uh, well developed. Which are the geographical features? The last class I explained again once more. I will repeat it to you. Uh, all of you listen to me. First one, which are the geographical features of uh, uh, Delhi. First one, Delhi is situated in the indo ganges Plains. Understood? Delhi is situated in the indo ganges Plains. It is situated, it is located in between India and Ganga uh, Plains. Understood? It is a, it is situated in the indo ganges Plains. And next one, the soil is there very fertile. The soil of Delhi is very fertile. That's why uh, they have to uh, cultivate more uh, agriculture progress there. Uh, agriculture well developed and well progressed. There. And also, next one, the river Yamuna flowing through this uh, country. That is through Delhi. The river Yamuna is suitable for uh, water transportation and irrigation facility. Understood. The river Yamuna is flowing through Delhi. That's why the river Yamuna is suitable for water transportation and irrigation facilities. And next one, the water of Yamuna and fertile soil. Uh, they have enough water from Yamuna and the fertile soil of Delhi that can uh, suitable for agricultural progress. Understood? That is very suitable for agricultural progress with the help of river Yamuna. Yamuna Nadile, Bellavo, and also the fertile soil. For who is the Maya, Manu, Ula the Gondre, Avade, Dalaram, agricultural progress, Krishi, Badegam, Pilogi, Pundavan Sadi. Next point, Arabian mountain raiders helped Delhi to resist the invasions of enemies. Arabian mountain raiders, that Arabian mountain raiders are located in the uh, southwestern region. So, that Arabian mountain raiders. Uh, help, help the Delhi to resist the invasions of enemies. No, no, have to enter the Delhi without uh, because of the Arabian mountain ranges are there. That's why. Okay. Next day, the big rocks and stones of Arabian uh, supplied for construction of forts and buildings. You know, Delhi has so many important historical monuments and buildings, etc. Like the Taj Mahal, the Mina, the Fort, etc. All are built from. Uh, the rocks of Arabi, from the rocks of the big rocks and, and stones of Arabi and supplied to construction of the fort and buildings. This for, uh, I, this is the last class we already discussed these points. Understood? And next, uh, next, uh, that's why, 
That's why our Delhi was more developed and because of and and also all the rulers are uh, more attracted to Delhi because of uh, because of the geographical features of Delhi. All other rulers attracted that Delhi and they uh, decided to own that country, uh, that Delhi. That's why, first of all, uh, who are the rulers uh, attracted and who are the rulers that uh, captured Delhi? Now, let's discuss about that. Understood? Then, firstly, Tomar King, uh, Tomar, Tomar King, firstly, uh, became under the rule of Delhi uh, in the period of 8th century. Understood? In the period of 8th century, you know, medieval period started from 8th century. That period, Tomar King started uh, Delhi. Uh, to rule Delhi. Then, after the uh, after okay, next one, Chauhan dynasty came. Uh, Chauhan dynasty defeated Tomar King, and they established Delhi. Who is the last uh, king of Chauhan dynasty? Who is the who was the last king of Chauhan dynasty? Tell me. Ah, uh, Prithviraj Chauhan. He was uh, who uh, he ruled. He defeated Dhamma uh, dynasty and uh, he established Delhi. Then again, Muhammad of Goa. Uh, Muhammad of Goa. Uh, he defeated the last uh, king of uh, Prithviraj Chauhan and he established again. He ruled Delhi. Understood? And the fourth one. Uh, the Alauddin Kiji, uh, who is the uh, chief, uh, chief commander in chief in Muhammad of War, he established uh, after the death of Muhammad of War, he established Delhi in the period of uh, century 1206. That period is known as Mamluk dynasty or, uh, or slave dynasty. Uh, Alauddin Kiji started the Mamluk dynasty at the century. 1206. This period is known as what? This period is known as Mamluk dynasty or, or slave dynasty. After that, uh, the period uh, again some rulers uh, came and, uh, and defeated Delhi. And who are the important rulers? Uh, in the period of 1206 to 1526, some rulers came and uh, came to Delhi and uh, uh, they uh, they started uh, to go the country. Who are the periods of these dynasties of the Sultanate period? What is Sultanate period? The rulers of Delhi between century 1206 and century 1526 are Sultans. The period of war ruled in Delhi, that rulers are known as Sultans. Understood? The period who are ruled in Delhi, that rulers are known as Sultans. And the period of the region is also known as Sultanate period. The period of their region is also known as Sultanic period. And who are the important uh, rulers ruled in Sultanic period and which are the dynasties are there? Just listen here. First one is Mamluk dynasty. Uh, important rulers are Kutubin, Aibak, and uh, Iftumish, and also Balbar. These three rulers are ruled, uh, ruled in Delhi and their, uh, their dynasties, dynasties uh, Dynasty's name is Mamluk dynasty or uh, slave dynasty or Tajamsham, Adiyam Amsham, uh, and the very Ariyapurna. Then, next one, after the defeat of uh, Alauddin Kiji, defeated Ma Ma Mamluk dynasty and uh, he started the Karji dynasty. He started Karji dynasty. Again, Muhammad bin Tughlaq and Firoz Shah Tughlaq, they uh, defeated. Karji dynasty and they started Tughlaq dynasty. These are the important dynasties of the Sultanate period. Understood? And again, uh, Kisur Khan, he defeated Tughlaq dynasty and he started the Sayyid dynasty. Kisur Khan defeated Tughlaq dynasty and he started the Sayyid dynasty. Understood? 
and again last one ibrahim lodi he defeated said dynasty and he started lodi dynasty understood these are the important rulers and the uh, dynasties of the sultanate period this time uh, our delhi and these rulers uh, their main aim was to expand delhi so uh, because of uh, that time kutbuddin um, aibak and alauddin khilji uh, both the rulers are expanded delhi more and firstly kutbuddin aibak he, uh, he conquered gujarat what for allow the kutbuddin aibak conquered gujarat what are the specialities of uh, of gujarat ah uh, yes first one is uh, the peculiarities of gujarat is first one is it has a long coastline it has a long coastline and that's why it has a several seaports are there both are very good for trading purpose that's why he conquered gujarat understood and the next one uh, allow the khalji and uh, also uh, he expanded the uh, his region that is delhi and muhammad bin tughlaq another person another ruler who uh, that is muhammad bin tughlaq he expanded the uh, his nation that is delhi Uh, that's why he decided firstly he decided to um, shift his uh, capital uh, from uh, delhi to devoli uh, and renamed as daulatabad what is the uh, uh, rename what is the delhi city name is daulatabad d a u l a t a b a d uh actually delhi is the capital and he shifted to delhi uh, in uh, uh, devagiri to daulatabad why was he he shifted that daulatabad and uh, and firstly he decided but uh, again uh, he rethink and he decided that is not needed because of uh, uh, that the people uh, living in delhi they are not in the state that's why again uh, rechanged to delhi okay so then lastly sayyid dynasty and lodi dynasty after the muhammad bin tughlaq sayyid dynasty and lodi dynasty came to end but both are very weak very weak that's why uh, that lastly that's why after the death of muhammad bin tughlaq uh, the say, dynasty sultanate period was began to decline understood sultanate period began to decline okay next year, these all are i already explained to you and once more i uh, i repeat it to you and listen to me and next our portion is we are going to explain about the uh, about the mughal rule okay this is in which period the mughal rule started first in listen here in 1526 april 26 the sultanate ruler ibrahim lodi you know the last ruler the ibrahim lodi and the kabul ruler babar fought at pani pat near delhi firstly uh, babar the uh, kabul ruler babar kabul at present afghanistan is located the kabul and kabul ruler babar and fight with the ibrahim lodi the last uh, sultanate ruler ibrahim lodi fight at uh, fought with the uh, 1526 after 26 they were but they fight here and they fought with the uh, on the way the hatim bani was near delhi okay uh, this uh, this fight in this war uh, he defeated ibrahim lodi as a result what will happen uh, he used the cannon and gunpowder he used the cannon cannon means gun gun and gunpowder very much you know pirangigalum adeham ubayochu he used the cannon and gunpowder and easily defeated ibrahim lodi with the help of cannon and gunpowder he defeated ibrahim lodi understood and again babar under the sultanate regime and established the new rule is known as mughal period understood and uh, after the uh, fight of panipat uh, babar uh, been uh, in that uh, that fighting and again he started the rule that is known as mughal rule okay so 
next year, who are the prominent rulers on that time? Who are the prominent rulers uh, came to uh, start the uh, dynasty? Okay, firstly, you know that first person, Babar. Babar uh, is the first ruler in Mughal, Mughal period. Okay, uh, his ruling period 1526 to 1530. Understood? Babar. Babar is the first ruler in Mughal period. He started, uh, his ruling time is 1526 to 1530. All of you listen this, this flow chart. Okay. Uh, and he ruled, how many years he ruled in Delhi? 1526 to 1530. How many year, years he ruled Delhi? Only four years. Four years he ruled Delhi. Understood? After the death of Babur, his son came and established Delhi and started to rule Delhi. Okay? And who is the son of Babur? Humayun. Okay? Babur, after Humayun came and started to rule Delhi. Okay, then in which period he ruled Delhi? He ruled Delhi in two times. In which period he ruled Delhi? 1530 to 1540. Firstly, he ruled Delhi 1530 to 1540. That years he ruled Delhi. Understood? And after uh, that 10 years, uh, 10 years, uh, another person will come. That person's name is Shah Shah Suri. Shah Shah Suri. The Suri Sur dynasty, uh, the king of Sur dynasty, Shah Shah Suri came and defeated Humayun. Okay? And they started the uh, Sur dynasty. Okay? That's the half. And again, uh, they started dynasty up to 1,555. Understood. Shersha Suri uh, ruled Delhi in the period of 1540 to 1554. Okay, 15 years he ruled, uh, ruled by Sur dynasty. Again, Humayun decided to capture uh, captured Delhi from Shersha Suri. Shersha Suri. Because the successors of Shersha Suri were very weak, that's why he defeated uh, defeated them and again he captured Delhi. In which year again he captured Delhi? In the year 1550, 55 to 1556. 55 to 56, only one year he uh, ruled Delhi. Again, second time he ruled in Delhi, uh, only one year. Understood? Okay, firstly we discussed about the barber. Is the first ruler of Mughal Empire, Mughal Empire, and secondly, after the death of Baba, his son came and he started to uh, rule Delhi. Uh, his name is Humayun. Humayun two times he uh, ruled in Delhi. First in 1532, 1540, ten years he ruled Delhi. Understood? After that, Shahshuri defeated Humayun and they started. The Sur dynasty. And again, Humayun recaptured by Shah Sasuri and he started he again ruled Delhi only one year. Okay? Then, after the Humayun, Akbar, his son, famous, uh, you, uh, all of you very familiar, I think all are very familiar uh, of our Akbar. You know that, Che? Akbar. And Akbar, he started, uh, he started to rule Delhi in the period of 1555 to 1605. In the period of 1556 to 1605. How many years he ruled in Delhi? Just the college. Did you get? How many years he ruled Delhi? He ruled Delhi almost 50 years. Almost 50 years he ruled in Delhi. Because of he's a good person. He's a good king. A good king. That's why he ruled again and again. And also 50 years in his almost all uh, living time. 50 years he ruled in Delhi. Okay. 
and and uh, once more and uh, akbar period uh, is uh, uh, all the historians uh, tells that akbar period is the golden period of indian history why he is uh, his uh, ruling time is very good in all all uh, field it is uh, well uh, very good uh, good ruling uh, he, he is earned uh, that's why uh, his period is known as uh, known as golden period Okay, and after that, again uh, started by Jahangir. Uh, his son, Akbar's son, name is Jahangir. He started to rule Delhi in the period of 1605 to 1627. So, I will tell you that the year of 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 the year Understood? 1605 to 1627 ruled by Jahangir. How many years he ruled in Delhi? Just count it. Okay, you can get uh, the 26 years, almost 22 years, almost 22 years Jahangir ruled in Delhi. Okay, understood? And next, after the death of, uh, death of Jahangir, again his son, his famous son, Shah Jahan came and ruled in Delhi. Understood? Shah Jahan came and ruled Delhi. Shah Jahan's period was 1627 to 1658. You know Shah Jahan? About Shah Jahan? Who is the father of Khalid? Uh, uh, Who is the... Uh, what is the name of his wife? What is the name of uh, Shah Jahan's wife? Okay, Mumtaz. With his remembrance, uh, Shah Jahan built a one important monument that is known as Taj Mahal. Okay? So, uh, his ruling time, 1627 to 1658. Understood? How many years he ruled in Delhi? His son, only, uh, almost 31 years he ruled in Delhi. Okay? Then, again, after, uh, after the Shah Jahan, his son came and uh, ruled in Delhi. Uh, his name is Aurangasi. But, Shah Jahan's uh, son's name is Aurangasi. Understood? Uh, Aurangasi uh, period was 1658 to 1707. 1658 to 1707. So, how many years he ruled Delhi? Almost 50 years. Almost, almost 50 years, Aurangasi also, uh, also uh, ruled Delhi. Okay, and uh, this period is known as uh, Akbar's and uh, Aurangasip's periods uh, are well developed and a uh, uh, good period in the Mughal rulers period. Okay, and also we can uh, very easily we can uh, understand, we can remember these uh, persons' names. That's why uh, I already uh, wrote it here that is, you can remember Pajista, B H A J S A. Pajista means Babar. Umayyad, Akbar, Jahangir, Shah Jahan, and Aurangasi. Okay. Next, uh, we can uh, we can let's uh, show a, a small video clip. The world of Islam found its way to India in the 7th century. However, some of the most influential and fundamental changes within the country came through the rule of the Muslim Mughal Empire. Founded in the 1500s by a descendant of both Timur and Genghis Khan, the Mughal Empire was of Turkic-Mongol origin and arose initially from Central Asia. Although Babur, the dynasty's founder, only ruled as emperor for roughly four years from 1526 until 1530, he was a prominent military genius who had mastered the art of leadership and undeniably launched an empire. Babur's first conquest into India began in the Delhi Sultanate-controlled region of Punjab. Ibrahim of the Lodi dynasty was the current sultan at the time and managed to stave off enough of Babur's repeated attempts to overpower his authority until the spring of 1526 at the First Battle of Panipat. The forces of the determined Timurid conqueror, numbering no more than 15,000 with limited field artillery, 
met for a final decisive battle with tens of thousands and 100 elephant-strong Delhi army. While Babur and his men were vastly outnumbered, they were a skilled and seasoned group and had received artillery aid from the Turks of the Ottoman Empire. On the other hand, the troops of Sultan Ibrahim utilized outdated and fundamentally inferior strategies, begetting their ultimate defeat, demise of the Sultan himself. Wasting no time, Babur swiftly seized Delhi only three days after his victory in Panipat, now styling himself as the Emperor of India. Backed by his eldest son Humayun, the new emperor next captured Agra as the genesis of the Mughal Empire began to rapidly shift into consolidation. This, of course, was absurdly far from easy, as Babur and his men were all but surrounded by his adversaries. Still undersized, hundreds of miles from their base at Kabul, and tormented by poor weather conditions, the Mughal soldiers were ready to head back home. Steadfast, Babur chose to continue his takeover, reinvigorating his men through a combination of threats and promises, according to his own memoir. Turning first towards the imminent threat coming out of Rajputana, clashed with the forces of Rana Sangha of Mawar, who led a powerful Rajput confederacy. On March 16, 1527, Babur employed the tactics previously used at Panipat to gain another key victory. One of these highly successful strategies included the utilization of carts to easily create a wall that would protect his cannon, allowing them to be operated without fear of a retaliatory strike. This, along with the methods called tulugma, in which the troops were divided into forward left, rear left, forward right, rear right, and center units, led the Mughals to triumph at the Battle of Kanwa in a mere 10 hours. Briskly moving on to the next opponent, Babur shifted focus to the Afghan chiefs who had captured the city of Lucknow during his conflict with Rana Sangha. Seizing the fortress of Chanderi along the way, the Mughal Empire was able to oust the captures of Lucknow before taking on Mahmud Lodi, a brother of the late Ibrahim who had gained Afghan support. At the Battle of Gagra, Babur's army found victory yet again, this time vanquishing the forces of both the Eastern Afghan Confederates and the Sultanate of Bengal in the late spring of 1529. <laughs> Okay, understood everything? Then we can go. Thank you.